What's up, guys? Michael here. Today, we will talk about how to open a SWOT project in SWOT Viewer. Most of the SWOT users will use like ArcSWOT, QSWOT, or MWSWOT to create their models. The SWOT project created with these tools could be opened directly in the SWOT Viewer. Uh, if you use other tools, you could also uh, manually create a SWOT project to be used in the viewer. First, we will talk about ArcSWOT. If you are using uh, ArcSWOT for your SWOT modeling, uh, so when you first create your SWOT model, you will have um, a window like this. Uh, first, you need to do is you want to give a, a product di directory for your SWOT model and then you can create a folder for uh, your model and the folder you create will be the SWOT product folder you want to use uh, when you use uh, the SWOT viewer uh, sorry because my resolution here is very high so it seems like uh, my uh, SWOT window the, the font is very small sorry about that um, so I have an example uh, uh, product, so uh, export product folder here. Uh, in this folder, you can see I have msd file, uh, I have the mdb file. Also, I have another folders. One folder is scenario folder, another folder is the watershed folder. So, when I want to uh, open that in the SWOT viewer, I want to point uh, the viewer to the arc SWOT folder here. So so we can uh, open all the files in that uh, model. So let's switch back to the SWOT viewer. So to open a SWOT project, you want to use the uh, the last left top button uh, called Open SWOT Project. Click that button, and scroll down. You can scroll down to your uh, SWOT Project folder. So for me, I my folder will be the ARC SWOT folder and in this folder I have scenarios folder, I have the watershed folder. So after I select ARC SWOT folder and click OK. So this, um, this product is opened in the viewer. You can see everything uh, contents in, in the product explorer here. So to check about that, you can see choose the product one and uh, on the right uh, your watershed will be showing on the right uh, it means you are opening and uh, ask what project correctly so next up we will talk about uh, uh, the QSWOT uh, if you are using QSWOT to create your SWOT model um, so when you create your uh, SWOT model, most of the time you want to first to create a new project that, uh, in the QSWOT. If I click new project here, uh, it will uh, let you to uh, give a name of a QGIS file. Uh, I have an example here, you can see I have a test QGIS file and in that folder, uh, in that uh, pro folder I will have a test folder. And the test folder will hold all the model files and the geospatial files for me. Um, so yeah, that's uh, how you create uh, the QGIS uh, uh, using the QGIS to create the SWOT project. So I have uh, uh, my QGIS project uh, here. Oh, seems uh, the QGIS has a problem to me. Oh, okay. So here I have an example Q uh, SWOT. Uh, SWOT product. So you can see that's the QGIS file when I uh, is created when I create that uh, product. So in that in this folder, they will create called a uh, uh, test folder. So you can see the name uh, of this folder and the name of this QGIS file is the same. So in that folder, you can see uh, it's very similar compared to the, the one in the ARC SWOT product folder. You have a scenario folder, uh, you have a watershed folder. Um, but here in the QSWOT, they also created some folder called source. So in the source folder, most time is holding all the geospatial data. And also you have the MDB file. Uh, so for QSWOT, 
So this test folder will be the uh, SWOT project folder you want to open. It's not the Q SWOT folder, it's the test folder. Uh, the folder with your uh, project uh, name. Uh, so let's switch back to SWOT Viewer and click this uh, button and then uh, browse to the Q SWOT folder. So you can see I have the Q SWOT. I have it after in the Q SWOT folder, I have a folder called test folder. So this test will be uh, the, my project uh, name. In this test folder, you can see I have the watershed folder, I have scenario field and the salt folder. So you, if uh, you can compare to the Arc SWOT uh, product, you can see in Arc SWOT, I have the scenarios, I have the watershed, so I need to open this Arc SWOT folder. But for Q SWOT, to have a uh, um, a more level compared uh, than this uh, XWOT. So I need to select this test folder rather than this QSWOT folder. So I select my test folder and uh, click OK. And click the product. So my product is showing on the right. So that's how you can uh, open a QSWOT product uh, in the SWOT view. In the next video, we will talk about uh, the MW SWOT in map window, like how we can cr open the MW SWOT product in SWOT Viewer. Uh, if you are using uh, MW SWOT to create your SWOT model, um, so when you create a model, you I, it's very similar to uh, Q SWOT. Actually, I will create a video talk about that. Uh, Actually, uh, the Q SWOT is really based on the design of the MW SWOT. So they have very similar design. So uh, in MW SWOT, uh, when you create a, a SWOT product, you need to use this new product button here. And uh, also you want to give a name to a map window product file. So you can see here I have a, 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 simple, a simple here. And uh, so that's my product. So basically, uh, the MW SWOT also will create a folder to hold all the, uh, the SWOT product files in that folder. So that folder will be um, the one you want to use in the SWOT viewer. Um, so I have a, a MW SWOT product folder here. So in that folder here, you can see I have a MW SWOT um, product folder. Actually, this is a map window product file. Also, I have a MDB file. So this is very similar uh, compared to the ArcSWOT and uh, QSWOT. And in this folder, you also have scenario folder, source folder, and uh, watershed folder. So you can see these three folders is very similar. Uh, it's the one in QSWOT. So because you can see a scenario folder is here, so uh, to open this uh, SWOT product in the SWOT viewer, you need to uh, go up one level and go into the MW folder and to open that project. So let's switch back to SWOT viewer and click this open SWOT project uh, button and uh, browse to my um, MW uh, SWOT folder. So you can see uh, what I need to select is select the MW SWOT folder. In this folder, you can see you have the uh, watershed folder, SWOT folder, and scenario folder. So that's the folder you want to choose when you open the project. And click OK. And also I want to check to see if my watershed is OK. Yeah, it seems OK. Yeah, that's how you uh, want to open a SWOT project created by MW SWOT. Yeah, lastly, we will talk about uh, how you can uh, open a SWOT project if that project is uh, created by other tools. So basically, uh, if you want uh, your product to be uh, uh, opened in the SWOT viewer, you need to have the, uh, the two most important parts. So first part is, uh, is the model, model input part. So basically, uh, this part will hold all the model input files. You can see uh, all the input files. This one should be in the folder. And secondly, if you want to have some spatial visualization, so you, you need to have some shape files. 
So at least you want to uh, to have the shape files for sub basin. So the shape files for about sub basin, and the shape files shape files for the ridge. Um, so here you can the name. You can see you you see the naming R I V one and uh, sub basin and S U B S one. Um, so I have a video to uh, detail talk about uh, uh, the how you can manually create that the structure to be opened in the viewer. So if you have using other tools uh, to create a, your SWOT model, you can reference uh, looking watch that video and uh, to see how you can uh, uh, open your product in your in the viewer. In this video, we talked about how to open a SWOT product in SWOT Viewer. SWOT models could be created using uh, ArcSWOT, QSWOT, and MWSWOT. The models created using these um, uh, tools can be opened directly in the SWOT Viewer. And other models may be created with other tools. You also could open that um, uh, product using uh, by manually creating a SWOT product folder. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give a thumbs up below and uh, subscribe my channel. I will post videos about SWOT viewer, SWOT model, and other hydrological models. Hope to see you in next one.